All right, guys, here we are. Now, the one thing that has plagued us constantly... Oh, no longer. This planet is finally um, getting a population again. Now, this planet is uh, being dealt with. We're going to get bomber squadrons here. Now, what is, what, what is that? A Lenora class? Could that be the beginning of the fleet moving out? I don't get it. They're just standing there. Do they not think they can win? Oh my god, what is that? Please tell me those are just the... Uh, 120 mines. Oh my god. Oof. That seriously is a lot of mines. Alright. But, let us take a look at our brand new bomber squadrons, which need to deal with the Romulan uh, bases in this area. Oh wow, would you look at that? Even more fighter squadrons. Enemy ships are on their way. Be ready. Mm. When will those begin their construction? Hopefully soon. Ah, I wonder what the Klingon fighters look like. Oh, those are cool. Hopefully that did some nice damage. And it did. Now this time, hopefully the Klingons will not be able to, or not the Klingons, the Romulans will not be able to heal their listening post, or repair their listening post, before we're done with it. The Romulan fleet seems content just sitting there. And frankly, I'm content letting them sit there. As the Sword of Kalos is in construction. And it is almost done. No. We must have completed some more dreadnoughts, or some more of these here. We also must have completed the Nukjas I ordered over here. I would like one Nukja to scout out what is going on in this planet, and how vulnerable their defenses are. I'd like this Nukja to scout out the sun, and from the sun, I would like to see what is happening in the pirate base. Because if the Romulans will launch an attack. If they have not dealt with it, we will deal with the defenses, and then we will use it to launch an attack on the Romulan fleet located here. And this is a Mogul Heavy Warbird, which is, or Tavara class, whatever. I think it's a heavy warbird. And then this is a... Ah, Tomalek is here again. Stupid Tomalek. Doesn't he know that he should stay away from me? Obviously not. Now, the Romulans can continue pressing culture on us. And I'm not a fan of that. Ah. The sor a sword of Kalos class not. Look at this beast. Ooh. It just... That is, it is so powerful, you guys, you don't even know. Shockwave torpedo, overwhelming assault. This ship is built for the one purpose, and one purpose only. And that is to wage war. And uh, that's kind of what we were hoping for. So, let's go take a look here. Now, how are these Nookjaws doing? Oh, they're doing great. The second Nukja is the one that oh, now we don't have the largest military. That doesn't mean anything though. W when these Nukjas are gone, actually let me research all of these. Because I will tell you guys one thing. When I 
was playing as the Federation against the Raw Moons, there's one strategy I used against them that decimated them. I fought war with them in their territory, launched an attack on their planet, and won. And they had a 2 to 1 advantage on me. And the reason I won is because my ships stood there in a single line and fired on the Romulans as they rushed me. But my ships were just a diversion for an outpost that I constructed. And as soon as that outpost was finished, it was over. I am slightly concerned. They're building up, and they're also building up um, way too many strike craft. Thankfully, one of the up this upgrade for the death rate gives it its very own handy dandy. Uh, I don't know flak. Right, what we got here? Oh my god! Tall Shiar listening posts naturally. It also looks like this is a huge shipyard for the Romulans. And I'll tell you what, it's a huge culture place too. Now, what better place to build a star base? I can't think of a, of a better place. Now, let us take a look at this. My economy can... Ooh, ooh, Oh, they haven't dealt with the, the pirate base. All right. In order for my plan to succeed, we need that pirate base dealt with, and that is what we're going to do. Everybody, everything is set up and situated. Let's give the order. Give me more power. You know what that will do is hopefully everybody will just stay in formation. Now, fighters reporting. Honor, fighters this day. All right, Honor and then the Imperial Trade Forum day. shall be dealt with, and Honor so shall then the Ministry of War. But for now. Let's pretend they didn't just glitch through the planet. And, uh, let's say that they're doing their job. We will drive them before us. A Talon class. There we go. Klingon fleet. The Klingon fleet is on the move. The, the Sword of Kalos has not arrived. But it is on its way. It must be here at least. Ah, uh, yep, there it is, the Sword of Kalos. Now, here we are at the sun. And this is just a small... ...compared to... What? What? Come on, guys. I ordered you here, and I expect you to go there. This fleet should be sufficient to deal with the Orion pirates. From there, I will order them to the border, and they will, uh, on my command, I can launch an attack. And what I'm hoping to do is I'm hoping to launch an attack, position my fleet somewhere in the nebula, and then build an outpost. Now, if this fails, I need somewhere to back fall back on, which is why I have so many resources. <laughs> There's the Sword of Kalos, which needs to join up with the fleet. Now, They are just building up. We have created a 
We need to convince him. We need to Okay. Now the Noskins are going to have a bad time. Everybody to get into their position. We're outgunned for this fight, and I don't plan on winning by moving around. Hostile forces are approaching one of my planets. This isn't my planet, this is a neutral planet at the moment. So, I don't know if he'll tell me if they're approaching. I'm hoping that was a lost knock. These are all lost pirate ships. I don't expect to make many losses in the combat. What I'm expecting is I'm expecting my fleet to decimate the combat here at the pirate base. I expect I just might be counting on it a little bit. You can say that. Now, let us take a look. These ships are all ready for their orders. Klingon culture as you can see is now creeping its way towards this planet making it easier or making it possible for us to capture it hopefully so far no Klingon casualties although the Orion Orion ship they have lots of ships which are closing in and the IKS Annihilator is going down it looks like um, did not expect that. Alas, it must have been. Could not have been avoided. They died in honorable combat. Let us watch this battle. This is an interesting battle. Give them orders to move around the local area. That is the only ship we have lost so far. The Noskins are taking much heavier losses. And it looks like still are taking heavy losses. The pirates are inactive, so the only threat they really pose in this is the fact that they're uh, here, and you have to get through their outposts. The TDN Cronus just lost our very first death right class to the pirates, and these pirates have no honor, by the way. One of the reasons that we're killing them. Kern is alive through all this, which I suppose is a good thing. Now that does it. The Orion Pirates have been defeated with the loss of only two ships. Not too shabby if I may say so myself. And we have plenty of resources to fall back on. Also, let us see how much a colony ship costs. A large, lightly armored frigate, modified to transport colonists to distant worlds. All right. Now, I'm debating to play the Star Trek mod for the Star Wars mod for this game, but I don't. I don't know. I don't know Star Wars. I just don't. I don't feel like that'd be very good. I. I haven't watched all the movies yet and yeah 
I just uh, I have different priorities. I mean, I'll get to it eventually. I know I will, but the day will be ours. now I thirst for battle. reposition the fleet. The Romulan fleet is still there. Frankly, the defeat of this Romulan fleet, if we could succeed, which is an if at this point, Ripping. since I'm unsure about it myself, may be within my interest to increase the fleet supply. And while we're at it, I would like to increase uh, my ship's weapons and effectiveness. And I will use this opportunity to get another Nick Fodder. We will drive them before us. Oof. All right, well, the strike craft have been doing a great job. The Romulan Ministry of War is all that's left here, just about. Oh, and a Tritanium mining facility, but that's not my greatest concern at the moment. This colony frigate, which I don't remember if I even ordered the construction. No, I did. A defense post, all right. Now, we are Klingons. yes. Oh, you're Klingons. Oh, wow! I never, kn I never knew that. Now let us begin building more death rites. Ah, uh, twenty more. The, the Quebec. Ooh, more. We have created a new weapon. There we go. To assist the fleet. We have created a new weapon. The fleets, I should say. Hitting them from two fronts is the most logical choice. This fleet is going to serve as a distraction. And by distraction, I mean it's going to have the smallest number of ships. It's still going to be able to pack quite a punch. Just because it's going to be able to get there faster. Now this fleet, with the Sword of Kaelas, is the main fleet. And this fleet is going to be able to, um, hopefully, just kill them off. The Romulans should not expect anything. Hopefully, what is going to happen is the Romulans will engage the fleet I said it first, and then the other fleet will hit them from the from behind. Now, if the battle starts going wrong, an outpost will be in construction, and they can fall back to the outpost construction point and stand in a line. And that should, hopefully, give us victory against the large Romulan fleet. Now, this planet is officially a Klingon planet. Fantastic. Yeah, that's actually really good. Um, let us... Alright, well... What? Oh. Alright. Use this as an opportunity. There we go. An opportunity that we can use to increase the amount of ships we can pull out. Planetary research is complete.
There we go. So this planet is going to be busy, 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 getting ready. Talon, Talon. Now hopefully the crippling defeat of the Romulan, or the, cr yeah, the crippling defeat of the Romulans, hopefully, will, um, uh, well, at, uh, the crippling defeat at this location will hopefully be enough to, uh, get the Romulan, put the Romulan starting on its toes. What is that? They've warped. They're out. They're gone. Where are they going? The Romulan navy's evacuated the area. Now, where's this colony vessel? I still need... Or have they cloaked? I don't know. I have one outpost constructed here. I want to be able to see all movements in that area. What is this? This ship warped out? Whatever is the case, it appears to be on an intercept course with us. And I can tell you that will be the death of it. And I would hope that it knew that. And boy, that is a powerful ship. Unfortunately for the ship, I don't know what it's uh, what it thought it would be able to do uh, in that attack, but uh, my ships have uh, better places to be than uh, fighting it. So yeah. Now, how's this colony vessel doing? Let's take a look, see if the fleet uncloaks or something. They also sent that colony vessel, which could have done it, but, well... Reinforcements have arrived. I feel that Romulan... Um, are they even... Do I even have something building these yet? What's taking so long? Ugh. The mines. They're building mines. For my resources. Alright, well that went, uh, that ended, no, uh, that plan, it's no longer a plan. I wonder what the Klingon stations look like, I've just, let's go take a look at that. Oh, I like how that looks, it looks way better than the star bases. Yeah, it definitely look way better. Now, sub choose class outpost. Hostile forces approaching. Oh no. 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 Romulans, you are not building a starbase. We will kill you. I swear to God if they think they can get a starbase out. Seriously, though, that thing is not going to be building a starbase anytime soon. Enemy fleet has arrived. Hostile forces have ar they've arrived, all right. Strike swift and oh, that's what the Romulan stations look like. Oh, that's cool. Eh, too bad it's not gonna survive. Oh, 
zombie was trying to defeat me with trickery. Okay. Romulan fleet. Oh my god, Romulan fleet. Bad Romulan fleet. Okay, guys, I found it. I found their fleet. Has it found me? It doesn't look like it, but now is as good a time as any to set the engage to set up an engagement. Alright. The first fleet is moving out. Reinforcements have arrived. Honor and glory. The fleet is We have created a new weapon. This isn't the Romulan fleet. Unless they've got all their capital ships here. Ah, uh, that's this station is gonna last. Let's build a doomsday device. Oh no, the station doesn't have a doomsday device. So, whatever. Is the second fleet, is this fleet good? We need the Sword of Kalas or else this battle is going to... Top of us. These bomber squadrons won't make it very far. I don't think. My death right should have flak. The station's gone. Alright, they do have flak. And I have a lot of flak at that. Oh boy. Look at that. If only the doomsday device could have been attached to that. Now. Fleets have or both fleets have orders to hold their positions, and they'll do that. Oh. All right, here we go, guys. Battle we've all been waiting for. Wrong. This is major engagement. Oh, that's when the volume just took me off. And would you look at that? You just like, holy crap. The battle is being fought in a neutral area. Although I'm seeing explosions everywhere. Give some of these ships to move then. Just cause ships like just cause ships need to be able to move around. But these ships are slowly but surely taking. I don't think I've really suffered many losses. I can tell you the Rod has suffered losses though. Heavy losses in their fighters, heavy everything really. Well, it's not heavy, everything. They haven't lost any capital ships yet. <laughs> Frankly, though, I think the Federation Starships are the best to make sure. I just... I, you can just see more of the ship. It's just, I feel bad. 
now. So yes, this is the wrong one. And in fact, you know what we should be doing right now, guys? As you can see, the Romulan fleet is suffering heavy losses, but... The battle could change, and you know what happens if the battle changes? We, why are these not built yet? What could possibly be taking so long? Are there mines or something blocking this from being completed? Because I need these shipyards online. And they're not being built. In fact, I'm not seeing anything being built here. There's nothing happening. And that's a problem. Now we win. Obviously. The battle is lost the moment my ship's warped in. Maybe one casualty. Ooh, an update from Amazon. Oh. There we go, there's a Romulan capital ship down. There's another capital ship down. They're fleeing. I want this set reset as one fleet, and I want that changed. We're going to chase these Romulans into the depth into the depths of hell. We're going to make them regret they ever declared war against the Klingon Empire. We'll start right there. Oh, oh god. Oh, Jesus. Okay, maybe the Romulans will make us regret things. Okay, Romulans, you've proved your point. How long has this been going on? I do not know. Looks like this battle has been going on for a decent amount of time. Oh jeez, I wish I had known about that. I won't be able to get ships so fast enough. We might lose this planet, but it should be a temporary loss. Romulans are losing ships, mainly just fighters at this point. Alright, so that tells me one thing and one thing only, is that our conquest will start here, thanks to the Romulan scheme. Now, for some reason, these are not done. One is finally done. Thankfully, that I'm so thankful. We do not have enough resources. We now have enough supply and stuff that we will begin building that fleet. How is the station doing? The station has successfully warded off the attack, and you shouldn't really have worried too much. Except I panicked. I should have been confident in the station's abilities to deflect an entire fleet. Now let us take a look here and check the time. Okay, this has been a long episode. Uh, I didn't mean to make it so long. Um, if you enjoyed this episode, hit like, subscribe, comment, you know the drill. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.